morning. Thank you, Robert. Well, on behalf of the student faculty and staff of WJ, I want to welcome you to the college and let you know that we're thrilled that you're here and that it's our honor that you've taken time out to spend some time with us. How many of you parents have actually taken time out of work to be with us today? Well, we thank you for that. That means a lot to us, and I think you've made a wise choice of where to spend some time um, today on this campus. I want to share a few thoughts about the college and reasons that I think this is a college that's worthy of your consideration. But I also want to say a little bit about myself. As Robert said, I'm new uh, at the college. I'll be starting out this fall as a new president, following a terrific president here, Tori Herring Smith, who's done some good work in building the college even beyond uh, where it was when she arrived. This is a college that is the 11th oldest in the country. And this college has a long and storied history, a great tradition, and we continue to work hard to make it better and better for every generation of students that comes to the college. Uh, my wife Kelly and I uh, will actually live on campus. We do in our current college as well, right in the middle of campus. As you do a tour, you'll see the president's home. And we like living on campus. We think it's the best residence hall of all. And I have a great roommate. And she and I are actually parents of five adult children, one of whom is still a college student, and four have made it safely through to the other side and are generally off the family payroll at this point. So I just want to give you hope that that's actually the outcome that you can expect at some point in the future. Uh, but it's exciting for us. We love college students. We love opening our house to them. And we enjoy being a part of this campus community in the 24-7 vibrant place that it is. I want to say a few things about the college. I think if you're looking at a college, many of you are probably early in your college selection tour as you begin to consider institutions. There are several things that you probably want to ask. And one of those questions that you should ask is, what kind of a reputation does the college have? In other words, what is the value of my degree when I walk out the door, when people say, this person went to Washington and Jefferson College? And I want to tell you that this college enjoys a stellar national reputation. Your Washington Jefferson degree carries a lot of weight with employers, with admissions committees at graduate schools. It's well recognized across the country, and it's certainly one of the reasons that as I made my college choice recently, I decided I wanted to be associated with the reputation of Washington and Jefferson College. Another thing that I think is very important for you in making your college choice is asking about the track record of the college's graduates. You know, ultimately, the outcome that's most important to you is what results from this four-year experience that we provide for you. And at w &J, we can provide you with all the data. We can also provide you with lots of anecdotal examples of alumni who are enjoying tremendous success. But some of the things that this college is known for are producing students who are both very successful in the workplace but also students who enter graduate school and find their way into their first choice graduate programs in medicine, law, and other fields. It's something the college has been known for for many, many generations. And as a result of that, when our students apply to graduate school from W&J, those applications are noticed. People understand that these are students who are exceptionally well prepared uh, to move into postgraduate education. Yeah. So take a look at the track record and recognize that Students who graduate from this college actually are assured of success in whatever they have prepared themselves for. And then I think it's important to ask, how will your education be personalized for you? You know, lots of colleges and universities are available to you. One of the beauties of America, higher education, is that our system offers a wide range of choices from very large research universities to small liberal arts colleges, places that are more specialized, more general, lots of different attributes of colleges that you might consider. I think one of the most important, though, is whether you will be at a place where you have the opportunity to have a personalized education. What I mean by that is at Washington and Jefferson, your education will be handcrafted to suit your needs, your abilities, your interests, your gifts, so that this education is unlike that of any other student at the college. <coughs> that kind of personal handcrafted experience is something that you simply can't get at a large university where students are essentially provided a boilerplate education because that's what you can do when you have class sizes of 50 or 100 or two or 300 students. A place like this with an 11 to 1 student faculty ratio or faculty student ratio allows you that opportunity to really be known by your professors 
and give it the opportunity to customize your education to the things that are most appropriate for you and for your own aspirations. And then along with that, part of being a place where you're able to uh, be known by people means that you're in a community where people know you and know you by name. Uh, this is a small, intimate community where people come and are known by name, where people are cared for and supported, and where, frankly, uh, you're part of a vibrant undergraduate living community on campus. There are dozens of student organizations ranging from Greek life, activities uh, like uh, specialized organizations that specialize in academic interests, uh, student government opportunities to be a varsity athlete, uh, there are many ways that your experience beyond the classroom at Washington and Jefferson College provides a tremendous amount of added value in your development. One of the things that we take pride in here is that our students emerge from this experience as what we call presidents. Uh, you know, that's the mascot of the college. We refer to our, our athletic teams as the presidents. We also refer to students at this college as presidents. Well, that means a lot because it means that we believe that students who graduate from this college graduate as leaders, people who have the capacity for leadership in whatever field they may be entering. And a lot of that leadership preparation is what's happening beyond the classroom in an experience on this campus 24-7 that is very, very carefully designed to provide you with opportunities to grow and learn and develop fully as a human being. And then finally, I think something that's very important to all of you as parents, and certainly will be important to any of you as you move toward graduation to students is that you should ask every college you visit about their alumni network. Washington and Jefferson is a college that has an incredibly dedicated and devoted network of alumni. Now why is that important to you? Well it's important because when you become a student at the college you become a part of a network that becomes an asset to you for the rest of your life. And at WNJ that's how you find jobs, it's how you find internships. We have alumni who are interested in reaching out and helping you make that next step in your journey. And I think for you as parents, that provides some assurance that it's not just the college providing good career services and preparation for careers, but there is a large family of WMJ presidents who want to make sure that the graduates of this college are successful and provide them with that leg up as they move from college into the next step in life. And then beyond that, I think for all of you as parents, you recognize that a private undergraduate education is not inexpensive. And we know that too. At this college, we do a great job of providing you with more financial aid support than you probably would imagine. We work hard to make sure that we keep the college as accessible as we can. And more important than that, perhaps, we're providing you with a tremendous value for the investment that you make in a college education at WJ. Now, how do we do that? Well, the, what I would say, and, and to put it very simply, is that what you pay in tuition at this college only covers a fraction of the cost of your education at WNJ. The rest of the cost of your education is being borne by that alumni network and friends of the college who want to invest heavily in this institution so that you can have a superb education at the most affordable cost we can possibly provide for the quality we offer. A good example of that is that the college is just now finishing up a major campaign. We have raised $115 million in this current campaign from alumni who love this college and want to make sure that your education is even better than theirs. And those dollars are going into scholarships, they're going into some of the brand new facilities that you'll be visiting on this campus that tuition dollars are not paying for, and providing you with the kind of quality education that frankly would be very hard for anyone to afford if we didn't have that kind of investment from others to make sure that we're providing that superb value for you. So I just want to thank you for being with us again today. I think that, that uh, this is going to be a good day for you. I've looked at the schedule and I know there's a lot of opportunity planned for you to learn everything you want to know about the college. But beyond today, I want to encourage you to recognize that uh, when I say that the faculty at this college want to know you by name, um, what I mean by that is when you leave here, you may have questions. You may be interested in a particular degree program and would like to know more about it. Don't hesitate to reach out to members of our faculty <coughs> and just reach out to them directly and ask them about the program. Ask them about what you can learn or what you can do with a particular major at the college. They would be delighted to hear from you. They'd be eager to tell you about W&J and what opportunities are provided here. So don't just take my word for it or even those of the admissions staff, but Make sure that you talk to people here at the college and learn as much as you can. People are eager to talk with you.
And I'll just conclude by saying that for all the reasons I've mentioned, um, I'm very confident that if WNJ turns out to be the right fit for you, this education will assure you of success beyond college in ways that very few colleges can. So again, welcome. Thank you for spending time with us today.